Oh my goodness. Everything went wrong on this cooking. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to begin. The fajitas fell in on the floor. Me putting too much pepper on my chicken and on my veggies. I don't know what I was thinking, but let me tell you, I was tired when I was making this food. But it ended up coming out great. My ass... Yeah, that's a different story. But <laughs> but this food was so good that I kept eating it, even though my ass was burning. But I hope you enjoyed this recipe and the video. It is a little bit interesting. You get to see the food falling on the floor. You get to see me um, putting too much pepper by mistake. You get to see all the stuff that went wrong. Enjoy! <laughs> Guys, you all know it's been a while. <laughs> So, let's make fajitas. Perfect. Yep. Let's make fajitas, y'all. Yeah. It's been a while. I got my chicken, washed chicken. I got my onions. I got my bell pepper, green and um, red. I got my cheese, mozzarella, Mexican blend, and pepper jack. I got my bouillon cube, chicken, dry pepper black pepper and garlic i would have liked fresh pepper but again i don't have one and i always forget to buy one when i go to the store i have to remember that next time but yeah that's all you need i decided to use a lot more onions because i liked it when i did it by accident the last time so i'm like oh okay this can work so i'm doing it again stay tuned i am not going to go in detail as i did the last one the last few times because I feel like you guys already know how to make it by now because you've probably already seen so much of my videos doing it and I'm pretty sure you're probably sick of it by now so I'm just gonna do a high level but I'm gonna show in between seasonings and all that but not as details as I have done in the past because we all know how to do it by now hopefully but if not I got you on the next one <laughs> so now I'm about to do my chicken first separately and then do onions um yeah stay tuned for our infamous chicken and veggies fajitas actually i'm gonna need that i'm gonna need that let's put it right here and use it for our um spoon so now I'm about to go in with the seasoning. I'm going to only use garlic, black pepper, crushed pepper, and bouillon cube. That's it. And after this is done cooking, I'm going to use this. I'm going to cook this one separately. And I'm going to use the same seasoning as well. That's it. That's my go-to seasoning that I have noticed that works well with this. I experimented with a few other seasoning and I like it. But for some reason, I always end up going with this um, for now. I messed up I opened my pepper and I all, all I wanted to do was do a little bit of in there and I poured a whole lot of peppers oh my goodness my mouth and my ass is about to be on fire Woo! Whew, this is not good this is not good at all oh my god oh my god all I'm thinking about right now is my behind oh my goodness hopefully it's not a lot Ooh, oh this is not good not good that's what it looks like with the pepper well, remember i poured in way too much pepper that's what it looks like i will keep you guys updated after i eat it i will keep you all updated <laughs> this is really bad maybe it's not that bad actually maybe i'm over maybe i'm being dramatic maybe the pepper is not that bad but i'm not going to use pepper for veggies because I mistakenly put a lot so no peppers for veggies so that it can balance out but maybe it's gonna work I don't know maybe it's gonna work I don't know but yeah look at all that um, pepper that's what it's looking like so far I don't know where all this water came from because um, I drained the chicken after I washed it so I don't know where the water came from I was not expecting this much water so, but it's okay because I'm just gonna let it cook down and before you know it is gonna start caramelizing it's just gonna take a little longer than I expected but 
It's okay. It's looking good so far. You can see it started caramelizing already. You can see that. So, but besides that, it's good. Turns out that the water that I was thinking was too much, it wasn't actually too much. It was actually perfect. So it's done caramelizing, but I'm thinking about adding a little bit more water so that the chicken can cook down some more. To me, it is cooked as you can see, but I want it to caramelize a bit more. So I'm gonna put in just a tiny bit of water and um, so that I can cook a little bit more and caramelize a little bit more. So now I added a little bit more water. You can see that. So I'm gonna let this cook more with that little water, which is gonna be really fast and caramelize a little bit more. And then I'm done with the chicken prep. I'm done with the chicken prep. I don't know if you can see clearly. And then the next one will be me doing the veggies. I am done cooking it, so I'm happy with this texture. And also I realized that I didn't add a little bit of onions inside the oil before frying it because the onions gives it a little bit of flavor to it. I realized I didn't do that, but it's not um, the end of the world. It's just a preference. So that's done. And also this cooked a little bit faster than usual because um, the heat on the pan was a little bit high. I guess I'm tired. I just wanted it to cook faster, but I would have loved it to cook slower so that um, it will cook inside much um, better. But it's okay. But that's what it looks like. You see all that pepper? Ooh, my mouth is about to be on fire. My mouth and everything else, you know. <laughs> but hopefully um, the veggies are going to blend in and it's not going to be that spicy at the end, hopefully. That's what it looks like, the chicken. See all that crushed pepper? <laughs> so that's what it looks like. So now I'm about to do the veggies and I will be following the same um, type of seasoning. Olive oil, my onion. I'm using a lot of onion now because I seem to like it. Onion. And then I'm gonna let this caramelize. I'm gonna add the seasoning, these seasonings right here. And I'm gonna let it caramelize and then add my veggie and that's it. And then I make my bread with the um, fajitas and the chicken. But that's it, so I'm cooking the veggie part right now. The chicken is done. I have added my seasoning those three seasonings garlic black pepper and bouillon cube i didn't add pepper because i added way too much pepper as you already know on the chicken so i didn't want to add another pepper here but that's what it looks like with the rest of the seasoning so i'm gonna let this come alive and then i'm gonna cook uh, i'm gonna add the um veggie remember i'm using the same pan and the same um spoon i'm about to scoop this seasoning from the chicken that is sticking here and put it in the pan that's what the onions is looking like now i'm cooking it on medium heat i'm not cooking it like i did with the chicken i'm cooking it on very low heat because i don't want this one to mess up or burn faster not that the chicken messed up but i want it to be on the texture that i want this looks and smells good it looks good and it smells good you see the um onions have caramelized you see that perfect i don't want all of them to be cooked i want it to be cooked and at the same time i want some of them to be crunchy so because of that i am going to go in and add my veggies so that i can um cook them not that long and i'll be done because i don't want to cook this a little bit longer i don't want to i want it to be crunchy and at the same time cooked you know what i mean i want a mixture of both so so far it looks pretty fajitas loaded recipe inspired by chipotle
fajitas i know i said i wasn't going to add pepper because i i mistakenly added a lot more pepper in the chicken when i was making it and i said i wasn't gonna add pepper for veggies i changed my mind <laughs> and i ended up adding more i didn't mean to add that much i need to actually start using that usually i know how to use it without the cover but i don't know what's going on with me today because i usually never use the cover and i know how to do it i think i'm tired or something i don't know i don't know what's going on with me today but i've been my hands have been heavy on the pepper i've been doing the pepper a lot and um i don't know what is gonna um obviously happen with my test bud and everything else but we are going to find out very very soon that's what it looks like it looks really good and that's my seasoning added a little bit more pepper as well after adding the first one i went back and added and oh you know what i'm done i didn't mean that i'm not doing the i'm not doing this on purpose i only wanted to add that little thing and that big oh wow you know what i'm done i think i'm gonna throw the whole food away i'm done i don't know what's going on with me today i really don't know what's going on with me look at that pepper and now look at that pepper i didn't mean this this is not my best everything else is good it's just too much pepper but again it might end up working out maybe i'm being dramatic maybe i'm being dramatic there's uh, a little bit of mishap but oh well tasted it everything is fine including the pepper it seemed fine it's not that much but it's missing a little bit of salt so i'm gonna add that's too much i'm gonna add a pinch of salt and a little bit more and that should be done this is the texture i want for my veggie so once i mix this um salt i will scoop it out and i'm done cooking fajita loaded look at the prettiness look at that i don't think you're seeing it look at that i know too much pepper but i'm african i will be i will be fine we like pepper that's it i'm done cooking so i'm gonna scoop my fajitas up and put in the container mm, very 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 tasty it's it's spicy but not as much as i was expecting so that's a good thing it's spicy but not as much i thought it would be extremely spicy but it's not and chicken looks spicy too so hopefully again they will blend in but let me finish this off camera because i'm making a mess bye say he homemade homemade chicken so now i'm about to make the so added oil i think i added a little bit too much oil actually for the bread i'm about to make fajitas and i think i added a little bit more oil than i would like or maybe not maybe not cook it in extremely um low heat because if not your bread is gonna burn and you don't want that yeah, I didn't add a lot of oil. It's fine. All right, let's make this and go rest because I'm tired and I'm making a mess. And I'm not happy about that. So let's make this and be done with it. But so far, it looks good. It looks good. So you grab your bread. Grab your bread. Put it in the pan. Looks good now let's go in with the cheese remember to wash your hands okay wash your hands go with the cheese that's mozzarella let's go with this one as well then put the cheese on this side as well 
but all your toppings are gonna be on one side but you want the other side to have cheese too because you don't want your bread dry so if you want less cheese you put less cheese you know what i mean on the healthy diet now let's go in with the fajitas um the ones that will be going in the fridge so next time when i need to make fajitas all i need to do is bring out a plate scoop up some veggie scoop up some um chicken and then warm it up and i don't have to um warm the whole container i just warm this quantity that i want and then make the bread and i don't have to make this from scratch because they are done and i tasted it I thought it would be super spicy because remember I was up here crying no it's not spicy my mouth is not on fire so I think um, I should be good you know what I mean <laughs> all right bye don't forget to cook and um, clean up at the same time peace out five minutes later Yo, I spoke too fast. My ass was burning, yo. And you know what's crazy? I ate those fajitas for a couple of days. I would say three days and they burnt each time and I still ate them. Ha!